Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Star. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're at a thrift store that is out of my um, town of Elk Grove. It's called U-Turn for Christ Thrift Shop. Whenever I come here, it's um, like I said, about an hour drive from Elk Grove. Um, I love this place. There are so many great, great finds here and um, I just love going here. So I'm gonna take you through um, and show you some um, things that I thought were really fun and unique and like I said I just loved love Goodwills and thrift shopping I think it's just so much fun it's like a treasure hunt and um, actually when I'm going through this looking through this video I'm seeing stuff already that like I wish that I would have bought but um, they were closing I only had about 30 minutes or so before they were closing their store for the day so um, they kind of closed kind of early so um, I I you know, was trying to look really fast. And also I wanted to record for you guys so you can see um, this thrift shop. And um, so when I go back, hopefully in, a, you know, in the next few weeks, I will definitely make a stop back here. And hopefully the things that I'm seeing that I didn't get will still be there. But like I said, I don't know if it will, but um, like this beautiful piece here, I should have bought that. I meant to, and I forgot. So yeah, I don't know how much it is. So here at this thrift, thrift shop, um, you, you pick up your stuff that you like, right? And then you bring it to the register and they'll tell you the price of what it is. Um, so no, nothing really has stickers on it for pricing. Um, I did see a price guide in the back. That's new to me. It was saying how some of the t-shirts are like two, three dollars. But um, I think that I think that's probably an older sign because usually when I go to the front of the register, they just tell me exactly what things cost. And um, so like I said, it's they're so fairly priced here, like better than a thrift store or Goodwill in my opinion. So that's also why I like coming here because I feel like you just find some really great deals. So anyways, let's go, let's go ahead and um, look through the store here together. And there's just so many fun, fun things. Okay. So, um, yes. All right. So where am I going here? Where am, is the first thing I'm going to show you guys? Okay. So yes, down here in this little case, there are some antique hairbrushes. Do you see those? They are absolutely gorgeous. And, um, I actually, um, got to pick them up and I was going to buy them. They were um, $20 each though and they are from I believe the 1940s. Um, I did not end up buying them because they're actually made from elephant um, from ivory which I won't buy anything made from ivory so um, that's why I didn't buy it. Otherwise I would have bought, bought it. But here we go on the outside of the store. I love the whole like the feeling that I get here. It feels so like I don't know like oh, homey I don't know like the books the books and the couch on the like um the porch I think it's just so cute because like the porch and like I don't know and they they are just like a great thrift shop and like I said I love it they have like uh, bible verses on the outside of their building um and you can see there's just so much to see so I mean there's jam-packed with items to buy so there's some more furniture out here books like I said um there's like bookshelves I'm passing all everything I'm passing is for sale and this cradle look at this cradle isn't that amazing I'm like if I had a baby I totally would be buying that my kids are too old for that now but if I had a baby I would definitely be getting that and then I'm looking at they have two parts of the thrift store I'm in the second part of the building and I want to say hello and uh, <laughs> so um, this is the second part of the building like I said and I'm um, just taking you around really quick they have a piano um, and I get I again is for sale um, they have of course look at all those books I mean they are just loaded with fun finds I ended up getting that and I'll show you that in a moment with my haul um, my two daughters were with me we were looking through this Goodwill and um, my daughter um, wanted to show me that they had records she knows how much I love records so look at this you guys look at all these records oh my gosh so I would have bought these records but again I was so short on time and looking through records can be kind of like a time-consuming thing so um, I really didn't get a chance I flipped through a few of them and I'm like oh my goodness if I had more time I definitely would have looked more I don't know how much these are priced at again it's just something I would take to the register and they would tell me at the register but I know they'd be so fairly priced and of course they have electronics fans speakers um, Everything is here, basically. Oh, I did have a, a video of this. Okay, so here's the hairbrush. Again, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's Art Deco style. And he said that he thinks it's made from ivory. That's why I didn't buy it. Otherwise, I would have bought it, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful brush. 
Um, but yeah, I uh, passed on it. And um, okay, so here's some more fun little items. Okay, so we have some really cute duck prints. And I like this. I, I meant to buy this, actually. I don't know how much they would have sold it to me for, but I thought it was so pretty. I love the duck country prints. I mean, that totally reminds me of the 80s. And I love that duck on the wall. I just think it's so fun. It's like a duck little like scene there, vignette. And then here's your little collectible items, your little houses, little cottages. Over here, um, stay tuned for that. I'm going to have a little uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. I bought that, but I'm going to show you that in my haul. So, uh, yes, they, like I said, have everywhere you turn, there's just like something there that is so unique, vintage, just absolutely amazing. Um, and I didn't even get a chance to look through that whole case, that glass case. They have jewelry. I have bought jewelry here before. I've bought um, brooches, um, necklaces, and um, going back, see, uh, we're going back through um, the store. I wanted to show you. Here's when I was on the outside of the store. You saw the uh, the blankets. Those were in the window. Um, I wanted to, I went back through here because I want to show you some of the clothing I didn't show you. So there's more hats there I missed coming this through this direction because again I was short of time but I want to show you a couple of the clothing I love coming back here because it feels like I'm like in a closet I love it it's like so many unique vintage pieces of clothing like this nightgown is so adorable and retro and vintage I love it and um, I wish it was my size I think it's so fabulous and uh, this coat looks like it just came from the dry cleaners but it looks like it's from like the probably like the 50s i totally could be wrong i was trying to figure out what material it is um but it was hard to do that with holding my phone and then holding the coat in the other hand um, but it does look like something from the 50s um, or for maybe late 40s um, so then just looking through some here and you can see there's no price tags again on here like a traditional thrift store would have they have this really pretty dress I was just seeing um, if it was a long dress or short dress, and because you guys know I like long dresses for me. And so see, there's just like a little bit of everything here. This like really cute little top. Um, yeah, like I said, I when I go back next time, I'll make sure I allow more time to look through here because I have bought like books and here before and... Um, you know, vases and everything from the store. So, um, yeah, and I was trying to figure out, is it the skirt or is this the top? But I love that fabric. It's so, it looks like Victorian, doesn't it? It looks like the pattern looks like a Victorian wallpaper. I love it. Um, over here, I wanted to show you, this caught my attention. I think I go right back to it. Yeah, this hanger, totally, okay, this is like the 70s style, I think. I have a hanger very similar that was, um, made for me when I was a kid from a family member named Wilbur, and it reminded me of him. So I wanted to show you that, and um, I still have that hanger, you guys. I actually still have that hanger. Anyway, um, back over here, there's just like a mixture of tops, blouses, um, and, you know, they have men's, uh, wear on the other side, ties, scarves, purses, you name it here. It's like so many great things. And I was just trying to look back here to see if I miss anything. Um, anyways, yeah, and see the shoes there, there's belts on the wall, more purses, and yeah, it's really fun here. All right, friends, there's a couple of things I wanted to end up showing you I bought at, um, the thrift store a few days ago. So, um, here is one of the things, okay, and I'm gonna tell you how much I spent after I show you everything. It's like such a great deal. So first of all, I want to show you this elf. Um, it's like, I'm not sure if it's a Christmas elf or if it's, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys know, please let me know in comments below. I think this is vintage. I really do because the face looks very vintage. It looks like from like maybe the fifties and, um, yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. It's just my <laughs> only Christmas tree up. It was decorated for Easter and I took down the Easter decorations and now I'm going to decorate it for graduation I got the graduation garland so I'm keeping it up year-round I think this is the only Christmas tree I left up I just love it I think I'll take it down after graduation but then I want to decorate it for 4th of July so I'm not sure anyways that's what you're seeing right there is my flocked Christmas tree anyway all right back to this all right so okay so here it is is this um really adorable and like I said I think this is vintage I mean look at the details in the um with the pearls around the um little like hat there and the face with the rosy cheeks it's super adorable so if you know what era this is from I would love to know 
Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this actually with my Christmas decorations. Um, I think it'd be really cute. I did um, buy those Christmas elves from Hobby Lobby this year at 90% off, and I thought maybe I could put, because I'm gonna put them in my big Christmas tree next year, and then I think I'm gonna put this one in that tree as well. Not sure, but this is like a satin, you guys. This is like satin material. I love this like vintage, or it's not vintage, but like this green, this like a sage green. And then also, um, look at the feet. Like, look at the little boots I even have. They're, like, decked out with, like, um, a couple of little rhinestones are missing or pearls. But it still looks really, really nice. These are felt shoes, our boots. And, again, the tool for the little, like, socks or whatever. I mean, this thing is, like, really, really um, antique, I think. I really think. So, again, if you know anything about the story of this um era or what you know if it like I'm not sure it's got like fake hair I mean this is not painted on this is like you know hair and um, I mean I just that face looks so vintage like the dolls that they used to make back back in the day it reminds me of that so that's the first thing I got so and I'm gonna show you the another the next thing I got and then um, okay I'll tell you how much I paid for this so I paid two dollars you guys <laughs> two dollars for this huge beautiful vintage elf so all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this one over to the side i'm gonna show you the next thing i ended up buying okay you guys so here it is oh my goodness you guys i bought this and um i will do um a try on haul on this on another day um when I, I actually have like a 1940s dress that will pretty much match this and um i think i'll post it on instagram so when i do that um uh i guess I'll let you know in a future video when I post this. I'll try to remember, but in the next few weeks, if you want to check my Instagram account um, or, you know, my Instagram page, um, I'll be wearing this hat. I'm pretty sure of it because <laughs> I want to try it on for you guys with the, like red lipstick and like the whole makeup and everything um, dressed as like 1940s would have been. So anyways, I paid $5 for this hat. Oh, by the way, my Instagram um, page is the same as my YouTube channel name, which is just me, Sarah Star. So it's the same as my YouTube name. Okay, back to this hat. I could not believe I found this. So you'll see it in the video walkthrough. Um, so it was just sitting there on the on the glass little you know display case, and um, I, you guys, this is literally from the 40s. Look at the. I don't know if you can see in the the light here, but it's also showing in the video. The it shows a little bit better in the video because it's during. Um, daylight, but this says um, Glen Over um, Fawn Trio Felt, and um, I don't know what 100% wool New York, and then something Pollock Incorporated. I believe that's what it says. So you can see, look at how fancy that label is, that stamp even. I mean, oh my goodness, right? Look at how gorgeous even the labeling is back in the day. I mean, everything was done with so much care and I just glamour. Like this is so glamorous, you guys. So this, I researched this. So this is like not meant to, this is not meant to be like a, it's meant to be smaller on the head. It's not a full size, like it's not measured to fit your head. It's measured to kind of like sit on top of your head. And um, I did wash it because it has some like staining. So I did wash it and um, I, I, a piece of like um, black like uh, thread came out and what it was was the elastic that you would use to put it, like clip it or like um, pull it behind your hair so that it wouldn't fall off. So there's several ways I can still wear this. I looked up online, I can put a pin in it to wear in my hair. I can put like a comb in it to put in my hair, but it basically is meant to sit like on top of your head, not to be a full size like, uh, yeah, not to be like the size of my head, but to be smaller than my head is the the style that this is. So anyways, I love the purple ribbon, right? Isn't that amazing with this royal blue? And I actually have a royal blue 1940s dress that I'm going to, um, I don't know if it's a, a reproduction dress that I found. I found it at Goodwill, but it basically is a 1940s dress. So I think I'm going to do, like I said, an Instagram post soon, but I love this hat so much. You guys know I love so many, I love vintage items. I love the 40s. And you see how this is made of like elastic, okay? And so that's the band. And then it helps sit on the head. And it's just, it's a beautiful hat. I mean, I just, I, I, I'm I, just speechless. It's absolutely beautiful. So I only paid, all right, you guys, drum roll. All right, you ready? I only paid 
five dollars for this hat five dollars this hat is from the 40s and so this makes this what about 80 years old 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 like 70 80 years old yeah if my math is right this hat if it could talk i would love to hear its story you know like who it belonged to oh my good gosh i mean it's just so glamorous and when i put it on i feel like i'm going back in time i love it so that's what i love about vintage pieces like you know this because i feel like i'm going back in time and i love it and um it's just so glamorous and so anyways all right you guys so together these two pieces i had tax i don't remember what i paid in tax but i paid seven dollars for these two pieces plus tax so Yes, you guys, so that's all I ended up buying. Like I said, I was short on time. I wanted to look around some more, but they were closing. So like I said, I wanted to videotape the store to show you where I was at and all the fun stuff they have. And like I said, whenever I go back, I'm gonna be making sure I spend more, uh, go earlier so I can get more time in to shop there. So, all right, friends, I hope you're having a great, great Saturday. And um, I will see you back here tomorrow with my next haul. All right, friends, so till next time, everybody, take care. God bless you all. I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.